Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I'm not sure everyone's time schedule or time zone, so I'm just covering all the bases. So, today we'll do start off with our daily um, prayer. And what I will do is I will actually um, post the daily prayers on my YouTube channel, so that way you guys can see them as well. Uh, so for today, it's Tuesday, so the prayer for today is Santa Merite, who is with us every day. Our sacred protector, bless us this Tuesday. Grant us your joy, your joyful embrace with a warm hug, a joy from God that shall never stop. O Santa Merite, Lady of Tuesday, be with us from day to day. Amen. And I'll just keep it simple, super simple, until I find one that I really, really like. And then we'll, we'll just, or if there's one that you like to say, go ahead and share it in the comments. And hey, I'll just use it for the next one. No biggie. Uh, I will do a rosary next week. Um... I'm ordering some rosaries and so I can see how they're made and um, and I, I'd like to do it correctly uh, for that one would you like me to actually put on a camera to show you how I'm touching each each bead as I'm saying the prayer or do you just want me to do it like this and then of course I'll do it like this and then you can go on to the YouTube channel and then I guess for the video I'll put how I'm actually doing the whole prayer. And so today, uh, we're going to just talk about um, a little history. Uh, just to get some a little bit of little knowledge here and there. Uh, so of course, it started mess with. It's an indigenous uh, Mesoamerican American and European Christian culture, and it's mostly in Catholic, I believe. And. Um, of course, she's the Holy Death. I mean, but at the same time, you can't really, you know, death can mean a whole many things to everybody. So it's not necessarily the death of somebody, but the death of or the ending of something finally. And, you know, death also brings, you know, joy off the end of something can also be a relief to some people. Uh, so, as far as, like, origins go, um, it's supposed to be a pre-Hispanic death culture practice merged with Catholic Catholicism. Uh, but, uh, I mean, again, everybody has a different depiction of her. And then, you know, like, if you wanted to give her stuff, like, for me, for my, the altar I have for her, I do have a candle and incense. Um, I do have a few, like, crystals, but they're, like, it's a little skull crystal. And then, um, every so often I'll give her a glass of, like, if I have alcohol... I'll make sure I'll give her the glass first, you know, before we consume it, right? So, I always make sure she has the glass, like a glass or um, even it, you don't have to put a full glass, you can use like um, shot glasses just for the, for something small, you don't have to make it big or, I know I see these big elaborate ones, but you know, you, you can adjust it to your means and 
it doesn't have to be so it doesn't have to be big and you know out there it could be it could fit in a corner somewhere just so just you know like you know hey you know you're you're making her part of your family part of who you are and and, and just making her like like as, as if she's always been there forever um I also give her candy once in a while uh, I've never actually given food though because um of course you also have to think about the stuff that these items attract like bugs and things so I try to avoid open food if possible just so I don't you know you, you get what I'm saying no it's you just I try to keep it clean just keep it clean um, I've also been making uh, crocheted Santa Muerte dolls. They're the like from what is it from anywhere from like two inches to like ten inches tall. They're kind of cute, and it, it's just a way I can have it here because at first I couldn't afford. A, an actual statue of her. So that's the only thing I could do was crochet. So I was like, well, why don't I just make one? So I made one. There's no right or wrong way to have something of her. I mean, even a picture, a picture would do. Like even on your phone, if you have a picture on your phone, that's it. That's all you need to do. That's, that's it. You know, it doesn't require a lot. Um, So, and then, I'm just trying to make sure we go over. So then on, on the whole trying to understand her basis is, I guess you never really want to poke fun, you know, poke the bear type deal thing. Uh, you never know what might happen or might not happen. Just with any deity, you don't want to disrespect them in any way. But at the same time, if something was miscommunicated and you feel like you were ignored for whatever reason, there are practices... I don't condone them really, but there are practices where you kind of, you know, put them in a corner type deal thing, like bad, <laughs> you did something bad. But a lot of the times, they, you know, a lot of times they don't do anything bad. You just, it's just how you're, it, it's what you send out. So like if you're asking her for help to heal or help prayer something, you can't just completely rely on her to fix it. You kind of got to push it in that direction and then she'll aid you even further. Um, so, I know there's plenty of books on the subject. And believe me, I've gone through every book, every website. There's just so many different, so much information out there. That it's really hard to kind of pinpoint this. I just know from my from my research that I found that actually Santa Muerte goes back to Aztec as an Aztec goddess involved in r death rites. So uh, she's considered to be like the reincarnation of their goddess so it's the same thing it's just like a i want to say like a rebranding type deal thing and it just kept going and and so for us i guess back in the day like in 1797 or something they probably were like trying to say her actual name from the aztecs but then when they explained it to i guess people of their time it was the saint of death so they just reincorporated her into the catholic catholic religion um
And there's this. I mean, I know there's a lot of them. The depictions of her of a Grim Reaper also. And I think I, I think along with that, it almost is. Because everyone has a different interpretation of her. So... That's what's kind of shaped her appearance somewhat. But if you look up the Aztec goddess, and I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not going to say it. But I will put the name of the Aztec goddess in my um, my description of this. Just so you guys have it. And, and then I'll put a picture of the Aztec goddess on my... Uh, as the page, or not the page, as the as the image you see. So, I mean, even in the picture of the Aztec goddess, you can see that, you know, she has kind of similarities. And she has a skull, so I'm guessing it's just kind of, it uh, just manifested itself into what she is now. So I don't think there's really any, again, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to worship her or to try to talk to her because it looks like everybody's kind of right in their own way. So I will put, save some of these images. Anyways, going on. So, um, I want to know from you what it is that you guys want to learn about. So we can uh, grow, grow together in this journey and try to understand her as much as possible. I want us to, I guess, understand it, grow together, under, and just all around get more information. The more we know, the better. The better we can defend what we're actually worshiping and who we're praying to. And otherwise, you get, you know, you get those people that are like condoning it, and like pointing that finger at you, saying, no, you shouldn't do that. And it's like, no, I'm going to do what I want. But. And so, yeah, just in the comments, let me know, like, what subjects you'd like me to cover. Because I'm just going to keep covering, for this week anyways, just the history, knowledge of her, who she is. Um, and then I'm going to put in, like, uh, like, a website. in the description of what where I'm getting some of this information from. Also, um, we can go ahead and close with a... I'm going to go ahead and make another video today for the 30th, I think, tomorrow, for tomorrow. I'll have it appear tomorrow morning. Um, and it will be for uh, banishing or removing negativity and removing negativity and bringing in a new sense of self-worth. Because I feel like with the rare once in a blue moon for August, it should be a cool way to remove the old, bring in the new, and always remember the first of the month with your cinnamon and um, what you do with the cinnamon is every first of the month or at the beginning the first week of the month I should say you go out to the front of your door with cinnamon and um, you go outside with the cinnamon in your hand and you blow the cinnamon into your house 
If that makes sense. So you're going to walk outside, open the door, blow the cinnamon into your house. Or into your... Yeah, the, the first door that goes in. For me, I have like two doors. So I do both of them just to cover my bases. Because you never know. And... And I usually say like... It's for prosperity. So... Basically, all you're going to do is spray. You can even just sprinkle it. You don't have to put it in your hand. You can just sprinkle it. Uh, because cinnamon is, is associated with um, senses and promote vitality and productivity. And which are necessary for the abundance. Um. See, I'm trying to look for what I normally say. So what I do is I say, when the cinnamon blows, prosperity will com will come to enter. When the cinnamon blows, abundance will come to stay. When the cinnamon blows. Abundance will live here. Amen. That's that's all I say. Like you could say something different and along the line of like with the cinnamon prosperity comes into my house and shall never leave. You know, like something like that. Just if you want to use your own words, you know anything you want to do, whatever comes to mind, that's how you do it. That's simple. Call it a day. Another one would be like, I blow the cinnamon to welcome abundance into my life, into my home, and make my home a magnet for abundance. Amen. But you also need to be careful, because I gotta put a red flag here. Because <laughs> if you say something wrong, like, um, and you gotta make sure your intent is pure, otherwise if you go out there and be like, I want I forgot what I said. I need to remember what happened because I did it wrong one time and the whole month I ha there was problems like every week. Like I'm not even kidding you. It I didn't even know what happened and I remember that I had said something wrong in the beginning of the month. I said the wrong word I guess and I need to remember what word it was. If I remember I'll put it somewhere. But just remember your intent and speak it well. And that's it. That's it. That's it. And I always carry like, you know, a little cinnamon stick with chamomile and a cinnamon, cinnamon stick and, and chamomile in a little plastic baggie in my purse. And that way you never, for some reason, it, it helps you always have money for like, even if it's just a penny, you still always have money technically. So that's how it's been. For some reason, you know, you're able to find it. And for me, every time I feel like I found something extra, then that's when I usually donate it or give it to, like, if I see some a homeless person on the street, I just give it to them. Um, like, I pay it forward. I always try to pay it forward because, you know, it's better to send out good vibes into the world than constantly sending out, just constantly just take, take, take and never giving back. But only when you can, okay? Don't be all like, feeling like you have to. No, just, you do you. Do it when you can. And again, if you ever guys need any help, um, need me to create any special subliminal for you, any special requests, just email me. Um, I look at my emails like every day. And we could just, I'll go in and either create it the next day, or I'll let you know when it's going to come out. Don't be afraid to ask. My email is always open for you guys. And if you have any more questions, um, if you want a specific topic, please go ahead and put them in the comments below. And then again, I'm also on Spotify. 
So if you guys, there's a link you guys can go to on the in the description, and uh, I'll try to go live every day if you want me to. If not, I'll just go live every Monday and Tuesday. So with that being said, thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you all have a very good rest of the week if I'm not on tomorrow. And again, if you guys need anything, please don't be afraid or don't hesitate to email me. Alright, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.